Dad worked on when the Crescent had a steam operated voice turner. The muck skip over there would go up and down the shaft and they did 3,000 foot a minute, six times as fast. So, and that's what they'd haul the muck out. They would slow down for the miners because 3,000 foot a minute is really moving and you'd end up losing your breakfast and getting the bends and your ears popping. And all. 700 foot level here. They used to give tours on this level years ago. It used to be a two level. trip this fancy bit. And this area here, it's called a junction where all these tunnels come together in one place like this. And so it's normally where we'll put the tool room. And so this is where the nipper would come to get tools for the miners working in different parts of the mine. And we do repairs on the bench over there. So that's all done right down here in the mine. And that little bicycle arrangement there, that's what the mine boss rides on. And one nice thing about that is it makes a lot of noise going down the track. You can tell when the boss is coming to get back to work. So and we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of air in the tank here so we can send this man trip back. But just a second here. So, all right. Just be careful, yeah, there you go. Wow. Watch your toes. And I was being unfair to you too, because you were pushing that uphill. When we put this track in here, we put it in here on a 1% downhill grade of the shaft. So when you have a full car of muck like this way, you're actually going downhill to the shaft. And then when you come back with an empty, or you're pushing up that 1% grade back into the heading of an empty car. And years ago, they used donkeys down in the mines to pull these ore cars around. <laughs> and once they brought that donkey down in the mine, they left them down. And uh, you want to keep in mind your one uh -huh. And just feel free to read the information. There's a lot of good information. And most of all, the rock on the glass here, it's all high grade gold ore. The mines are on Cripple Creek and Victor. I'll show you some of that high grade here in a little bit. And once I get this gate closed, this is where the forced labor begins. <laughs> <laughs> Where it all started here was a little crazy Bob Womack. This was all ranch land to begin with, so he was a cowboy and a rancher and a part-time prospector. And he first discovered gold here back in 1878, but he was also quite an alcoholic. And so it took him 12 years to convince the skeptics that there was gold with the solid granite up here on the southwest slope of Pikes Peak. So it wasn't until 1890 before the mining really picked up around here. And Bob Womack, he sold his first claim, which he called the El Paso Load. It's now the Gold King Mine. He sold that first claim in for $500 and a case of whiskey and he died broke. And there was 11 multi-millionaires and 28 millionaires that came out of this area. And the guy that found the gold here died broke. So, and then this is Molly Kathleen here. She's the woman that discovered the gold in this mine quite by accident. She came out here from Iowa back in 1891, a long time ago. Came out to visit her husband and son. Her son Perry here was a surveyor on the mines. And Molly was out hiking around the hills one day trying to chase down a vertical. Sometimes the buckets are a lot bigger than this one, but that's how you go to work every day. Is you put all your tools down inside the bucket, like the jackhammer and shovels and all that, and then you ride down the rim of that bucket. One miner stands on one side of the rim and hangs on to the cable. The other miner stands on the other side of the rim to balance the bucket and hangs on to the cable. And you ride down on the rim of that bucket going down the shaft, so it's a pretty wild ride. And that was all before OSHA and MSHA and all that. And there's one of those buckets up close to the water. And so you keep that lamp with you all the time, and you keep it down low like that. And as long as that flame is burning, my things are good down. Here. If you ever come around here and see that flame out, it's time to get out of the mine. And so this took the place of the canary. They used to bring a canary down a little birdcage, and when that canary keeled over, it's time to leave the mine. And so they were hard on donkeys and canaries back in those days. But we do have a lot of respect for that bad air. If you walk into a heavy dose of that, there is no oxygen, and you're dead in just a few short minutes. So we don't mess with that bad air. It is bad news. So I'm just going to turn the flame down. This thing is burning just a little bit too high there. So that's where we were back there, but that's due noise. 
And this is one of the old uh, grilling machines. This is called a wiggle tail stoper. It's a really old machine. It dates way back. It did operate on compressed air, but all it did was just hammer that piece of drill steel back and forth into the rock. It didn't rotate. So that old timer had to stand on that drill plank that I was showing you back there, and he would move this handle back and forth all day long to keep the drill steel from getting hung up on the rock. And then with this machine, they were drilling dry, and so they of dust in there, and they were breathing our rock dust down under their lungs, and they ended up with what we call miners' consumption. So, Maddie, uh, you listen to hard rock music all day long, and this is too loud for you. <laughs> I'll take you over and show you one of the big stopes. And take a look at this black and white photograph as you go by, because this is back when they were working with candles and sledgehammers and hand steel, and all hard hats. So, those guys are back on hand and men. <laughs> the old days, it's hard work. Maddie! Yeah, Maddie, just stand right over here. Yeah, just stand right there. That's perfect. Yeah, just wait right there. That's good. Okay. And so this is called an air station, kind of like a gas station. We just fill the tank full of air and then you're good to go. So. And uh, just take note of that part that's higher there. That's a little bump there. But right up over our head here, this is one of the richest veins of gold out of the Molly Kathleen. It's called the Clean Mess Vein or the Clean Mess Scope. And they mined this vein of gold out of through here for about 800 feet from this 1,000 foot level back up to this 200 foot level. And I'll go ahead and turn the light on and you can all step in there with the weights over here on this side. But anyway, I'll turn the light on and this will give you a good idea what scope mining is all about. They mine from this level up to the 900 foot level, and then from the 900 up to the 800 foot level, they just came on starts. Later on, they came up with this little hoister called a tugger, and this helped the nipper get the tools up into the scope. And this is really self explanatory, but I'll go ahead and show you the tugger. And this is not, not too loud. So. Yeah, just another way for the nipper to get the tools up into the stove. And needless to say, this stove mining is certainly one of the most dangerous jobs on the mine. And they were the top paid miner here back in the 19th. Stand down here the rest of your life. So. And miners, we do have an attitude. If anything ever happens to us down here, we're involved in a cave in or anything like that. You can never be buried any deeper, any cheaper. And so that's what we look at. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so this is the top cage here. And there's the ladders right there. A thousand feet of ladders if you want to climb out. We can go on. Yeah, we can go on over here. There you go. Have you ever had to climb out of one? No. Not today, so we want to stay out of the sump. So, and a lot of people, they think this cage is moving pretty fast, but actually this is really slow. On some of the big mines, like that Crescent mine my dad worked on, when the Crescent had a steam-operated hoist on it, the muck skipper over there would go up and down the shaft and lay at 3,000 foot a minute, six times as fast. So, and that's what they'd haul the muck out. They would slow down for the miners because 3,000 foot a minute is really moving, and you'd end up losing your breakfast and getting the bends and your ears popping. 700 foot level here. They used to give tours on this level years ago. Used to be a two-level tour back in the 1950s and 60s, but now the tour is all down on the thousand foot level. So, yeah, right there is 700. The next level we'll see is 600, so like I say, the levels are roughly 100 feet apart here in the shaft. And this is probably not a good time to talk about the cable breaking, but if the cable does break right above our head up here, those are called dogs. They're spring-loaded safety dogs, and they automatically set into the timber, and they stop this cage very abruptly. It's a very quick stop, but it's better than going at the bottom of the shaft. We don't want to test those dogs out, so we don't talk about the cable breaking. And if you look behind you there, you'll see a red light, and that's the level of the climb up out of there on those ladders. Uh, all right, here we are. Good. Back in. Let's find out if Art has some of those buckets and just go ahead and say.